Episode 249, The Hunt. Aiden carried Dora on his back now and hung back from the figure as he followed him. His pace was quick and light as he made almost no sound with each step. Hide footsteps, stealth ability, plus one. Current progress, one out of ten. Current level, beginner. Finally, the opportunity to strike was before him. The man leaned against a tree and raised a water bottle to his mouth. Aiden squatted and let Dora climb off his back. He whispered to her, Close your eyes and cover your ears. Dora did as told as she squatted close to the ground behind Aiden. Aiden's eyes were sharp as he aimed the pistol at the trunk behind the man. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Trigger, shooting ability, level, beginner, auto-adjusting aim. After several deep breaths, Aiden squeezed the trigger. There was a violent vibration in his hands, which made Aiden's hands numb for a moment. The bullet exploded from the pistol like lightning. Use of an automatic pistol, gun knowledge, plus one. The bullet went through the tree and out the other side, penetrating the man right in his heart before he could even react to the sound of the gunfire. He was dead. This time, Aiden was aware he was killing someone, but he showed no emotion. He knew his only chance of survival was to kill these men before they could get to him and Dora. Overcome fear of killing. Mood, plus one. Aiden quickly moved to the man's body while voices called out to each other over the radio. Everyone had heard the gunfire. Ramon, what's wrong with you? Came one voice. Ramon, yes, please reply. Said another, who Aiden thought was Hank. Aiden made a mental note that Ramon was the name of the man he had just shot and killed. Because Aiden already had Ramon's voice, he used his skills again to imitate Ramon's voice. I saw him, I shot at him, but somehow he attacked me. My leg is broken, I can't move. In Ramon's voice, Aiden continued directing the others to his own advantage, saying, You guys run after him. He ran to the north of where I am now. Over the radio, the others had no doubt about Ramon's urgent instructions. Soon, Aiden could see the other spots on the GPS moving to the area north of Ramon's body. Aiden smiled at Dora and squatted so she could climb onto his back again. They were no longer fleeing for their lives. The game had changed and now the hunters became Aiden's prey. He would chase down and kill each of the remaining men. The game was on. A half an hour later, Aiden had killed two more kidnappers. Now there was only one man left on the mountain to hunt Aiden and Dora. It was Hank, the one who had first shot at him. He was also the attacker Aiden most wanted to kill. Aiden's brow furrowed as he frowned, trying to plan his next move. Hank had ceased moving on the GPS, and as Aiden approached the area where he was supposed to be, there was no trace of him. Aiden realized that Hank was smarter than the others. After the gunfire and his buddies disappearing, Hank knew something was wrong. Everyone was now marked by a motionless spot on the map where their bodies laid. Aiden guessed that Hank was using his locator signal to lure Aiden where he wanted him. But rather than fall into Hank's trap and move in on the location signal, Aiden would set a trap of his own. He dropped down to the ground where he and Dora laid quietly. They took care to keep their breath gentle and not move at all. They were calm as was everything around them.